Hello, my name is Lauren Luther and I am a peer health educator at Health Wellness and Prevention Services. Today we are talking about BAC and its effect on you and your night of fun. Find out the factors contributing to BAC, the effects of various BACs on your body, and calculate it. This is meant to help you make better decisions when it comes to drinking, so have fun, stay safe, and remember these tips. What is BAC? BAC is the percentage of ethanol in your blood. Your body can process one standard drink per hour. This is an equation to better visualize how this process happens. You drink one standard drink, which is 1.5 ounces of liquor, 4 to 5 ounces of wine, and 12 ounces of beer, plus the rate that your body metabolizes alcohol. Factors contributing to BAC. Age. As you age, your body is less efficient at processing alcohol. Biological sex. Alcohol is water soluble and insoluble in fat. Women tend to have higher concentrations of fat in their body. So, if a female is consuming the same amount of alcohol as a male of the same height and weight, she will have a higher BAC than him. Rate of consumption. The faster you consume alcohol, the quicker your BAC will rise. And food. Drinking on a full stomach slows the absorption of alcohol into your small intestine, therefore releasing alcohol slowly into the bloodstream. Drinking on an empty stomach contributes to BAC rising quickly. BAC and your body. This is how different BACs can affect your night out. This is your baseline. No alcohol has entered the system. You can either go above your baseline, which is the positive side of drinking, you feel euphoric and buzz or you can go below your baseline to the negative effects of alcohol. This peak is the sweet spot. This is the point when people feel the best when drinking. This is the BAC of 0.055, but we'll round up to 0.06. People want to keep feeling this good throughout the night, so you know what they do? They keep drinking to maintain the feeling. But really, people begin to overconsume and cause their BAC to climb, pushing them down into the negative effects of drinking, which are impaired speech, loss of balance, significant motor impairments, blurred vision, disorientation, passing out, and even death. So how do you calculate your BAC? So for me, my biological sex is female, so I'm going to grab a female BAC card to calculate my BAC. I weigh about 140 pounds, so I'm gonna find the weight on the top row. Then I click how many drinks I've had, or I can calculate how many drinks I can have to get to that sweet spot I was talking about earlier, which is a BAC of 0.06. So I find 0.06 on the card, and it looks like about two to two and a half drinks per hour to get me there. And that's all I have for you today on blood alcohol concentration. Go ahead and check out our other videos we have on our site, and have a wonderful day.